I suppose green energy. Okay? Huh? Uh, Korean town? Uh, yeah, she might be Karen Best. Doesn't matter. Great. So great, give it up for our company. Right, next, uh, yes, we're coming out of the air break. Irvine? Yes. Okay. So this is a Congress member from Irvine. And he, um, that's a support mission for. Actually, it supports more education for schools hey. that support green energy either. That's his position. Great. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. And then next. <laughs> it's also oh my gosh. Woo! Yeah. All right, tell it. No person. You got it. Uh, so, of course, only she's down. She's down with the community. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, I got the best dad ever. <laughs> Alright, so this is the initial position. Um, we have one person who supports immigration reform and two people who oppose it. So if they have a vote in Congress about immigration reform, what's going to happen? Majority vote. It's not going to pass because it's, it's uh, not a majority, right? Um, so what everyone's around, most people around here, um, the people with the pink, pink slips, want um, immigration reform to pass. So you can do different things, and I go over what you can do, so that uh, we get uh, two or more votes for immigration reform. Okay, so rule number one: we have elections coming up in 15 minutes. What? <laughs> <laughs> so over the next 15 minutes, you're going to be doing different activities, and then um, and everyone's worried because when you have an election, you could lose the election and lose your job, or you could win the election. So all these congressmen are like worried, They're like oh my god. Um, and um, all of you are going to be voting only for the Korea town, for example. The other people are going to be election for elections, but they're going to be voted by imaginary participants. <laughs> so what can you do in the meantime, during those 15 minutes? First, you can talk with other people about immigration reform, like, hey, you don't support immigration reform? Well, you should, because my friend is, you know, immigrant or whatever, I'm an immigrant, you're an immigrant, whatever. Talk with other people. You could visit your Congress member and be like, hey, you need to change your vote because our community needs you, whatever. You could hold a protest in front of them if you don't like them. If you don't like what they're doing, I'm like, no wake up, no, no stay true to your community. You could do elections work. You could be like, oh, you know, she, she's a really bad person, so let's, let's get her out and let's get our school teacher to be the next Congress member or whatever, things like that. Um, or you can have a public debate among everyone about like what's, what's good or what's bad about uh, immigration reform. And in between, uh, randomly we'll have uh, the Congress do revolts on immigration reform and see if we get getting different results. And we have a vote on immigration reform after the elections. Okay. Um, and please feel free to, huh? I'll explain you what you have to do. And um, <laughs> you're a special person. Very important. Feel free to do other things, but those are some of the ideas. So rule number three, at the back of your paper, you have your immigration status. And very small, you don't have to tell anyone. You could tell, but you don't have to. You could be undocumented. You could be a permanent resident, or visa holder, or US citizen, or there's two kinds, there's two kinds. You could be registered to vote, so you can be voting, or you might not be registered. So you can't vote, but if you go to the elections clerk and register, then you can vote at the elections. Okay. If you're already registered, then you can just vote after 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. So rule number four. Yeah, do you have a comment? You can only register to vote if you're a citizen. Yes, only if you're a citizen. Rule number four is there are some activities for which you want ever like you can do your own things here and here uh, within this room. But for this for these activities, we should all come together and uh, be either participating or watching the event. So for public debate, we'll announce that everyone should come and uh, have the debate. For the Congress vote, we should all come and watch. Uh, for elections, we should all come and, and vote. And um, yeah, that's it. And after the elections, um, we'll have three more minutes of different activities. Our Congress vote and then the game ends. And we'll see if it passes or not. Okay? Um, oh, and first, let's map the power very quickly. Uh, Any of you like to volunteer 
Uh, why don't you describe your own position, your own role, and see and tell me how much power it has, and whether you are for immigration reform or against immigration. Let's get like three or four people. Just our own opinion or what we really uh, just make up your just make up your opinion for your role. You could be like, well, I'm a what could it be? I'm a restaurant worker and I'm kind of scared that immigrants might come and take my job or something. So therefore I oppose immigration. Just make it up. So anyone? Do we want to start with a Congress member? Yes. I am Korean Congress member. So you're very powerful over uh, here. Yeah. And I am opposed because I'm not sure what my position is. Actually, actually, let's have you come and write yourself. Can we get like, um, not, not every Congress member, but can we get like four volunteers to come and write your own position and where you are? That's where you, your, your role is. Uh, anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Come on. Ask us to restaurant worker. Just can and write your role where you think you belong. <laughs> For immigration reform, against immigration reform. Okay, we have a good crowd. Grab, grab more of this stuff. Yeah? Yeah? Check out your list. Yeah, huh? <laughs> maybe you should be a little more to the right because you're against. Oh, okay. yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're on this one. But people are against. Anyone against has a, has a plan? What's your plan? Be stubborn as possible. Huh? Or be as stubborn as possible. <laughs> be as stubborn as possible. So don't listen to anyone. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, um, <clears throat> so let me share some strategy. So we'll let you go for the next 15 minutes. And sometimes we'll announce these group group actions. So just come uh, when you have the group action. You told me to so you are on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> let me put the timer. I still drunk from yesterday. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Snap. That's so cool. Begin. Begin. OK. Am I supposed to? Are you a supporter? All right. Mr. Mr. Collins student. Andrew, are you a doctor? Yeah, I really need this yeah. pass. I need this pass. Come on. You shouldn't have told me that. Now I can. No, you have to pass. Or else everybody else can get picked out. You need, you need, you need us. You need us. Actually, I don't want to be. Okay, I'm a congressperson, so I can't. I can't. Nice. Actually, that was hard. Yeah. What about you? You guys should talk to me. I'm talking to you. Oh, well. James, why is no one talking to you? Yes, they have to be here. Sure. 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 Because I think all the UCLA students should be on this side, right, Andrew? For the immigration reform. So, a lot of the constituents in your area show that they're for immigration reform. By a lot of the Where are these constituents that you're talking about? I don't see that. Here, here, here. I have that. I am happy. I'm married. You know, it's like something. You're a machine. What is it? You had like a they support the immigration reform. Yeah. So if you want to win the next election, you may want to change your stance on immigration Well, I don't have, you're just telling me this. I don't have a choice on what you're doing. I don't, she switches them 
Fred, I'm not, I'm not Wait a involved. second. Shut up. That, that, is, that contradicts your position. Oh, wait. Are you right? No, I'm documenting. What is this? I don't know. It's like, if you want to register. I don't think that's legal for uh, undocumented people to vote. Hey, have you guys registered to vote yet? You guys, you guys should register to vote, I think. Well, like he, he, you have to t tell him if you want to vote. I want to vote. You want to vote? Okay. Alright, everyone, do you think you're ready for a public debate? Yes. Yes. Let's try it out. Let's try it how it goes. Yeah, I'll drive you. I'll talk to you later about it. I'm an, I'm an immigrant rights organizer, and I just want to say that this is a wonderful opportunity to present my uh, position on this issue. Uh, this is a new chapter of um, civil rights. Back in 1963, the blacks won their run. I mean, the African Americans, excuse me. <laughs> they won their rights through protests and such. I mean, it's unfair that they didn't get social justice, and it has finally been achieved, and now everyone's happy. But now, there, this is a new chapter, and now the, the issue is um, immigration reform. And right now, I would like to have the school teacher and um, share her um, personal story on, 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 the, on the reason why. This is so, so necessary. <laughs> All right. Miss Chen. Miss Chen. Miss Chen. All right. I'm a um, I'm a school teacher, and currently, right now, I'm a single mother who has a um, young daughter, and I'm an illegal immig I'm an illegal immigrant. I'm undocumented, and I need this job <gasps> to support my family. Um, and I'm a pretty good teacher myself. I have lots of students who are uh, successful right now. They're like in gover high government jobs and um, they're doctors and whatnot. So I think I'm, uh, I could, that I'm very useful in this, uh, this country and I just need this job for my, uh, to support um, my family. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Next, next, I would like to have the college student. Wait. Wait, Wait I think we should give the against people chances. No, we're not gonna give them a chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a question? Wait, this if is she's undocumented, how is she working? Huh? How is she working? How is she working? She got the work visa, but it expired. Yeah, expired. But how is she still working? Legally. You can you can continue working if you're undocumented. Really? Like yeah. You can yeah, well, get a driver's yeah. license before you're undocumented, but then after you get undocumented, like you can keep that driver's license. But once you become undocumented, you can't get a driver's license. It's harder. It's harder to get new jobs, but um, you can work. Right. Right. Next is our um, Mr. Frederick Yee, a proud student at UCLA. Right, and after him, we're gonna have uh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to share some stories? Um, I am a U.S. citizen and. I have a friend that's uh, a legal immigrant and, I mean, yeah, an immigrant and uh, he can't just do uh, easy stuff by himself, like getting a car, getting a driver's license, and uh, just getting a job. And we need this to pass in order for him to do it. All right, thank you. Okay, so I would like someone, a speaker from the opposed side to come and speak. Restaurant worker. Restaurant worker. I'm a restaurant worker. I'm a U.S. citizen, and more people, 
more competition for jobs. I can't get my job taken away from me. Alright, thank you. Argument. Thank you. Uh, also a very short presentation. <laughs> and our speaker from the opposing side. Oh, the congressman from Irvine. Can I have a two-year high school Oh my god. Just one more. It's, and we need to close in 30 seconds. So please um, make um, it quick. <laughs> I'm not. She's undocumented. I'm a citizen. But I'm going for immigrant because I want her to have to achieve higher education. What a touching story. <laughs> See, I have a beautiful and, mind. I'm not, I'm and like, for the restaurant worker, you say you don't want your job taken away, then you could just work better and be worth <laughs> your payment. Oh. Oh. If you can't work your payment, uh, then you can't. This congresswoman for K Town. Can you see that? A lot of your constituents. <laughs> Hey, Mo Abdullah, he stepped back. Whoa! So, okay, whoa! I mean, no, no person attacks me. Whoa! Oh, so, um, what? You know, this Okay, just last right. speaker, and we are gonna conclude the debate and go back to your regular right. for so, The argument on our side against immigration reform is that we are also concerned for undocumented students. According to the current bill of our proposition, anybody who came to this country with, within a five-year span camp will not be affected. So by delaying this process, we might actually allow more people who recently came to this country. And I know majority of you, a lot of you are undocumented. And if we do pass it, an approximation of a million students will be will have the same access and life uh, similar to U.S. citizens, and so it'll it'll just be more harder for the high school students, <laughs> more competition at even at college level, and and if you bring these groups of people who which we know are also very excelling at the academic field. Yeah, five seconds left. It will also take um, jobs in like the scientists over here and high school, high school teacher. So, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Just another way thank you. So we're going to conclude this, uh, this public debate. I want to ask anyone from the uh, supporting side, if you have changed your mind after listening to opposing side, you want to like move over. No. <laughs> Anyone from the opposing side who would like to move over? Rebecca? Everyone does. I'm your opponent. I'm your opponent. I'm your opponent. How about the neutral people over here? Any of the neutral people? Wanted to be like, oh my god, it's really bad. I'm not being happy. It's not going to make any difference. It's not going to make any difference. If we go there, they still win. You want to go there? Okay, go. Oh, still ending. You know, if we, you sing, oh, no. even if we go there, right? Oh, check this out. You got some supporters in your public Woo! debate. Woo! Yeah. A doctor. A doctor. A doctor makes a lot of money, so maybe he's contributing some sort of sound to Congress members. Alright, so uh, we make it public debate. I'm organizer. I'm gonna have you guys talk right. to. The, so, Miss Congress Member of Korea Town. <laughs> I don't want your tongue. Excuse me, you refer to me as your Majesty. Are you a voter? Are you a voter? Are you a voter? Are you a voter? Yeah, I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen too. You want to win the next election? So scary! Wow. <laughs> you don't deserve to be the Congress member of Koreatown if you don't want more Koreans to come into oh Koreatown, you know? You should influence them and like, you know, what do you call it? Persuade them to come over. Yeah. The stop really sucks. <laughs> You're getting yelled at. Are okay. you a Republican? Tony. Democrat. Yeah, actually. Then you should come over here. Be on our side. Because that's Wait, what the majority wants. No I hear what you're saying. So you should? I hear what you are saying and I'll take it under consideration. No, I won't go to consideration. I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sam, don't give up. Sam, don't give up, man. I'm not like, giving up. If she denies it, she's not going to become the Congress member right next time. Take, don't take a BS answer, you know? She's a researcher at UCLA.
Why is it all Why is it UCLA? <laughs> Why is what if, it all what UCLA? if I go to USC UCLA and that works against me? So, would you like to say something to our Congress member? Hello. Yeah. Welcome to the first <laughs> what do you mean by like that? Baby. Okay, okay. We have three minutes left. We have three minutes left. And we have elections coming up. Elections is going to be up. Wait, so is that a yes or no? If it takes you long, it's recording us. It takes me that long to finish. So are you voting? Hey, quick question. Are you going to vote for this congresswoman at the next election? <laughs> Will you be voting for her at the next elections? Oh, no. No? No, I'm Why? gonna run for it. Uh, okay. What about you, sir? Mr. Uh, CEO? Um, I'm too busy uh, to worry about that, but definitely not. Yes. And what about you, uh, store owner? Who are you voting for? So who's actually registered to vote here? Anyone? No. Of course I had a, had a major victory, so we're gonna go and check it out. I want all the congressmen to come. Ooh, I got one of them. So the Congress is gathered together, and they're voting against uh, again on immigration reform and agreement. So um, I want the Congress members and everyone's watching via C-SPAN, right? They were watching by C-SPAN and reading the newspaper the next day. So I want each member to raise your thumb if you uh, support immigration, if you vote for immigration reform, and down if you if you vote against immigration reform. Can we get your votes? <laughs> what? Can you just change your position or something? <laughs> Wait, is that, is that no? <laughs> okay, so we got... What we got the? Hey, Isaac, yeah. stop having a cold summer night. Yes. No. So 66%. So does it pass or not? It's a pass. It passed. Woo! Okay. You did it. Good guys. You guys achieved the immigration reform. We have the election coming yeah. up. <laughs> yes, the elections. So I let's all come down. For you. <laughs> yes. I need some election right now. Power. Oh, oh, oh. So everyone who is a registered U.S. citizen, you should come up um, and uh, and. Uh, to the election clerk. Oh, let me give you papers. Oh, okay, he changed my position to registered now. Oh, great, you registered. Oh, yeah. you great, me? that's great. Too late, too late. Oh. <laughs> 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 it makes me too late. Too late. So we want everyone who is a, everyone who is a, a registered citizen to come get your ballot from the clerk and mark uh, whether you vote. Um, I guess there's only one candidate. Whether you vote uh, for the Koreatown Congress member or not. Uh, so just mark yes or no. Okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Four. 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 Are you registered? Yes. Four. 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 Oh, those are four. Wait, well, they have to come themselves. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you guys have to come and vote if you're a registered voter. So, um, do you want to announce the results? Are the Congress members not going to vote? I guess they're going to abstain. Yay, Andrew! Vote for me! Okay, do you want to announce the results? Everyone, focus. Everyone, everyone. Let me announce the results. Let me announce the election results. Yeah, no, James. Yeah, the Congress members are registered. Yeah, they're there are five. How many people voted? Hmm? There are six people who voted. Five people voted. No! Oh, yes, show up! Hey. And then? Hey. Five for four and one was against. So five voted for re electing the Congress member. Right? Two Oh my god. Okay, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> so great. Yay! Yeah. Okay. So game is over. <laughs>
Yeah. I lose! <laughs> Are you poor? It's a restaurant owner and you're a voter. Yeah. Who came and said, you know, I'm in your district, I vote, and you know, you should support this issue. Um, and she was feeling very stressed too. <laughs> <laughs> I was originally against it because I thought more of my constituents would be against it, but suddenly I mentioned up to me and said otherwise. So. I don't know. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Anything that didn't work? Take a listen. You can't call me a saint. Why do you think any any guesses? Why you might not have worked? He's an evil man. He's an evil He's man. A bad heart. It's a bad heart. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not it's not beautiful. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, he's scared about the uh, the how many people will be called, uh, who will lose their jobs. Huh? You know, he's scared of like how many people will lose their jobs. Uh huh. I see. He's concerned about the economy. Yes. Yeah. Something else. Should he be concerned about your opinion? Yes. Yeah. Why? No. Yes. Uh, yes or no or and why? Yes for those who are the citizens uh -huh. and no for the undocumented. Uh huh. He should be concerned about citizens' opinion. Really? Well, because so like Liz was concerned, right? Because like, oh my god, so many people talk to me. Um. So there's an election coming up, and everyone's voting on her elections. What about his elections? Is anyone in his elections, in living in Irvine, and voting on his election? No. He's in no. LA, that's Everyone is in LA. So he was like, oh, you know, interesting, but like you don't, you're not going to vote against my opponent. I'm a former opponent. Like my, my voters are like these imaginary people, and I'm fine. Right? So that's, I mean, he was care about people because they're like people of the country, but <clears throat> immediately, right away for the elections, he doesn't feel threatened. So what could you have done outside of just this um, exercise? But what could you have, yeah? Get people from Irvine. Right, get people from Irvine and get them to support immigration. And then you'll be like, oh my god, what are they doing? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that was the, uh, I hope that the exercise was fun. And then you the point was to understand how um, power works and how organizing works to change power and to build power in the community. So a lot of what you were doing a lot of the time was building the power so that we could uh, have change. In this case, it was an issue. Um, one of the, uh, and I'm going to go, let's go, um, you can take your roles off now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to open it up right now to allow any of these folks who have your candidates declared to be kept undecided uh, in the beginning. So drop off your, your, your things and maybe you should um, just stand here in the middle. Stand in the middle. In the middle. Why? Why so many people? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to back okay. I don't want to hear what you have to say first. Um, <laughs> So let's have our first uh, first round of uh, uh, <laughs> So we want um, can you like spread around the room the three of you? Everyone supports candidate uh, uh, number I forget the name number four. We can stand next to Andrew. We you support candidate number three or two. Stand next to Liz and candidate number three. should decide who's going to be your pitch maker, who's going to make the speech, okay? And what are you going to say? What are you going to say? We'll give you, we'll give you, we'll give you uh, one minute, one minute to decide that. Wait, 
We need to do something over there. How many people do we have per per uh caucus? How many people are in the Andrews? Two. Five. Two people? Five. What? Five. Five? Two people. Two people. Okay. So here's number four. I'm undecided. No friend. Four. Three people. Right, two people. No, five. And then, candidate number two. Come on. Uh, one person. Can you force some people into our group? Number three. To make three. You three people. Three people. You are undecided people. Okay. And when you're undecided, it's still really close. Yeah, one. that's right. Two, one, three. Yeah. Two, one. Can we say stuff? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> and after round one, after the round one of course, are you sure so many people want to be on this side? Yeah. Well, we have to hear what they have to say. We can change I see. Oh, yeah. um, voters. Oh, you guys are smart. Wait, wait, wait. Can we the first to say it? Can we the first to talk about it? Oh, wait, wait, we're not there yet. So, the steps, the steps in the compassing are... My God. The steps in the compassing is... If you're under a certain threshold, you are disqualified right away in round one. Wait, what? If you are under a certain number, you are automatically disqualified. Oh, you are automatically disqualified. So I think we're gonna set that up as uh, one. So if you have one or less, oh two. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Let's see the All right, you both win. So you are almost disqualified, but we're disqualified then. So we went to the next round, and before we move to the next round. Um, we're gonna give you a chance for mechanics, so we'll give you All one right. minute. Is that who's the speaker? Or am I gonna say? Okay. Why should they be the supreme ruler of your entire life? Dude! Hear him out. Hear him out. Alright. You know, let me tell you something. This man has a lot of money. Come on, man. You told me you have to be the supreme ruler of your entire life. You told me you have to be the supreme ruler of your entire life.
Okay. I filmed your betrayal. <laughs> so we should know at least know the majority vote, but it's kind of like that. So you're the speaker. Uh, are you the speaker? Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. Oh, 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 the oh, 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 As a kid, guys, guys, come on. As a kid growing up in K-Town, I noticed very little changes. But today, this man named Andrew Saw <laughs> told me and persuaded me that he's going to make California a better place for the world. And <laughs> this man has so much money that he will buy you free food, every one of you! Every one of you! Yes. Really? You will? Yes. That Chinatown near there, he's gonna buy you all of it. He told me. Um, oh, he's gonna all you buy is slushy. All you can eat slushy. All you can eat cream BBQ. I'll wait for that. I'll, I'll swear it on my name. Yes. Oh. Okay? I want this. Can I add one more S to your name? Uh, <laughs> oh. S to your initials. And he also said, uh, he's gonna stop the hate. So, do you want to vote for him, please? Can we get a round of applause for Kate? Well, uh, please, guys. Thank you. You should just sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe have a sticker from Pocos number two. I don't want to go up. <laughs> Woo! Go Helen! <laughs> This should be the one um, to be the um, the rule of the universe because she's gonna pay for our tuition for uh, college. Woo! She's gonna pay no, all of it. Max, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to allow immigration to come, so everybody will just be happy and free. And then um, she says she's gonna pay us every day yo a frozen yogurt. What about our other people? Tuition too? Oh. She's gonna feed everybody. Everyone in the U.S. Chicken everybody in the U.S. Oh, oh, it's a concert. Yeah. Huh? Concert. Alright, that'll be done too. She'll do it. Okay. Whatever you want, she'll do it. She'll do whatever you um, need oh, the and ask. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you. No, 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 no. Alright, Tony, you lost your supporters, but um, how about you come and, and give your uh, supporters? <laughs> You get all the neutrals. Okay. <laughs> um, if, if I if I get elected, I promise I will not punish all those who betray me in the, the, the caucuses. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking at I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at you, Edward. Yeah. Rebecca, Fred, the first betrayer, Judas. Right. Um. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if, if you vote for me. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll do, you know, I'll do, I, whatever, yeah, whatever. Alright, give it up for Tony. Oh, awesome. <laughs> 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 Don't betray people. Oh, right, right. So we have round two. <laughs> yeah. And um, this is not a majority wins all election, but depending on how many people are on each side, we're going to get uh, delegates going to the uh, statewide round. Uh, so, but however many can, uh, supporters you get in this stage will be just your um, what you win. So, and this is the final round. So, anyone who wants to move, Hello. Uh, if you want this
many people do we have? Five. Zero. <laughs> for the statewide convention. And the way you get, let's say you get 10 delegates, so you get um, candidate number two, we get eight delegates, right? Nine, actually. Nine delegates, candidate number three, we get one, and candidate number one, we get zero delegates. And that's how this uh, uh, caucusing ended. Great, thank you so much. Thank you all.